Now we turn to a cold case murder that's taken 20 years to solve. 16-year-old Raina Risen vanished on March 26, 1993. America's most wanted feature Raina's case, and it led to some clues, but no Raina. After a month after her disappearance, fishermen found Raina's body in a pond. And five years later, Raina's brother-in-law was charged, but those charges were dropped. Then, finally, in 2008, a prison inmate came forward with information that blew the case wide open. He said he'd seen two men with Raina's body in their car. Then last month, police arrested and charged Jason Tibbs, a childhood friend of Raina's. Now Raina's family fi may finally get some answers. So I sat down with them, and they told me a story of two decades of pain, grief, and unanswered questions. Take me back to the night where Raina disappeared. She goes to work at the Pine Lake Animal Hospital. That's the last time you saw her. What happened after that? Well, <clears throat> Matt was waiting for her. They had a date that night. And uh, at about 7 o'clock, I think it was, um, Matt finally, you know, decided to go down to see why uh, Raina hadn't come home. And once he went there, the car was gone, she was gone, and came back and told us. We got back together. He said, nobody's heard or seen her. And then eventually I went to the police department and filed a missing persons report. I understand you left the light on for her every night, hoping she would come home. Yes. Um, when she disappeared that night, then we turned the front and the back lights on, and they stayed on mm. till after she was found. 20 years later. Yes. Police call you, and they mention they've made an arrest. And they mention it's this man, Jason Tibbs. I just want to get your reaction to the police calling you, and after 20 years of searching for your daughter's killer, they have now arrested somebody who they think may be that person. Well, you know, your, your, your emotions run hog wild then, because, you, you know, it's finally maybe we can get into court and we can get this resolved but even with that there's still no closure for the family because until you can hold her in your arms again uh there just is no closure did you know this man at the time that reyna went missing yes when they were in middle school they hung out together okay just as friends yes this man, Eric Freeman, he has gotten immunity now for his statements uh, turning the tide on Jason Tibbs. What's your thoughts on that? My wife and I told Mr. Shalegi, you do what it takes to solve this case. Now, if we have to give up one to get the killer, so be it. Now God has given us some answers, which we've been waiting for for 20 years. What do those answers now bring you? How do they... We want to know what happened to her. Yeah. And whether, you know, whether we like it or not, we need to know. Benny, how, after all these years, how do you remember her? Sorry. It's okay. Take your time. We just miss her terribly. She was a great girl. She was a great role model for the fact that she knew exactly what she wanted to do with the rest of her life. So she had already decided what that path was. And, you know, brick by brick was paving that way to, to get to where she wanted to be. Oh, she was just a beautiful, kind generous she loved her family especially her niece and nephew she wasn't a she wasn't very great at making turns when she was driving <laughs> <laughs> we cover so many cases that have similarities to Raina's case i would like for you to speak to maybe other families out there that have a child that's missing or that have a child that's missing and maybe it ended with tragic consequences. What do you say to them, or, or maybe they just don't know, 
maybe they can't find their loved one. What do you say to them now about holding out hope for that loved one? Don't give up. Don't give up. It's not often you have a case that's 20 years old that gets solved. But, you know, tomorrow is a new day, and that could be the day that their cases are solved. We wanted it solved in our time, but it was solved in God's time, like everything. Powerful sentiments. Don't give up. Raina's memory lives on. After her murder, her family and community started the Raina Horizon Memorial Scholarship Fund. And if you'd like to contribute, go to hlntv.com for details. You'll also find an op-ed by America's Most Wanted host, John Walsh, about the resolution of Raina's case after two long decades.